Hey everyone, Ari Labs here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Bulova Accutron Kirkwood. This specific model is the reference 63A103. Uh, this is a dress watch that uh, I like. I think it's a pretty nice watch, and I think that it's representative of some of the places that, that Bulova is going um, into the future a little bit in terms of design. Um, it's quite attractive. And um, I think it's I think it's a it's a great option if you're looking for a a a, a watch a mechanical watch with a Swiss movement that um, again B B so Bulova is an American brand right and uh, it's actually currently owned by Citizen Group in Japan so but it's still completely run out of America so while there is Japanese ownership it's definitely um, still very much an American brand and so I was what I was trying to say was that this is a great sort of American watch in a lot of ways. Uh, that has a Swiss mechanical movement in there, but it's a little bit avant-garde, but also kind of dressy. Um, I haven't perfectly sized it yet, but I'm just sort of giving you kind of an understanding of, of what it looks like. The steel case is uh, 40 uh, millimeters wide. There's a few versions of the dial. This one has that sort of open heart design to the balance wheel there at 12 o'clock. It's also the version which is quite cool with a skeletonized dial. Um, which one you prefer is really up to your own personal taste, uh, but it, uh, there, there are multiple versions which are interesting. The case... Um, it's a little bit retro, and you have sort of those long flared lugs there. They wrap very nicely. So at 40 millimeters, it's very much a medium watch, but I think that it wears nicely because of these longer uh, lug structures that definitely wrap. I have to say that from a cuff comfort is very high. It definitely feels very comfortable on the wrist um, as it wraps around there, but it also has a substantial feel, not being too small, not being too thin. Um, it comes on a, a strap as well. This bracelet is interesting. Uh, it features sort of a multi-link design there, which is which is quite nice. What I really like about the dial is that e is even though it's unique and it has these sort of bold um, markers on there, it's still inherently very legible. Um, you have loomed hands that are the proper size, which is great. I love seeing hands are proper size. Um, nice polished markers there. So it has a little bit of a class to it. And being able to see the spinning balance wheel there is, is a great feature. Um, you can see the movement through the rear of the watch there. Um, it is an automatic. It is a Swiss Salita SW200 with a Bulova Accutron logo on there. And, and if those of you uh, are fam if those of you are not familiar with Bulova history, um, you might be interested in knowing what exactly is their logo that looks like these two horns. Um, well, Bulova released long ago a watch that was called the Accutron Space View, and that was a tuning fork watch, and this was pre-quartz, and this represents what a tuning fork would look like. So it's actually kind of an interesting irony that you have a mechanical watch with a logo over the balance wheel that represents electronic technology. <laughs> um, that's kind of a unique thing. It's it's definitely ironic, and it's definitely something that, if you know, um, adds an interesting quirk or element of character to the watch. So again, this is the Bulova Accutron Kirkwood. Um, it's available in various different styles. This particular model uh, retails for $1,195, and you can see the full review on a blog to watch soon. Thanks.